New at 5.30, the search for suspects in the Chico synagogue vandalism continues. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper shows us new details into the investigation and the larger problem of hate in our community. Burned, vandalized, and defiled. It's quite appalling that such a level of anti-Semitism is occurring in my adopted neighborhood of Chico. The sign outside Congregation Beth Israel, stuffed with face masks and set on fire. The vandals writing swastikas and other Nazi symbols on it. Um, I've personally gone to CBI for high holiday services to celebrate Yom Kippur. Which Mitch is, uh, Ross is a web Jewish producer with Action News and, Now, but um, he is also an active member in several Jewish by, organizations. Uh, we should all be um, upset about and we should all be taking an active role in our community to trying to prevent and trying to fix what has happened. Nathan Sutton is a director of the School of the Synagogue and the president of Chico State's Jewish fraternity Alpha Epsilon Pi. There are other chapters of API have encountered this kind of thing before and it's different for each crime. Um, so I would say in this case, what we're going to do, at least to try to make up for it, is in a symbolic act of tikkun olam, which means to repair the world in Judaism, we're going to go back to the synagogue and help at least repair the damage to the best of our ability. Members of the community have been stopping by the synagogue to pay their respects and to let them know they're not alone. One woman placed flowers next to the sign to show her solidarity with the synagogue. I spoke with Nicole Sherman, an assistant professor of political science and criminal justice at Chico State. You know, really kind of tapping into community organizations. Um, and then I think also, you know, sending strong messages that hate crimes are not tolerated. It's more kind of um, education about it, um, more uh, awareness raising, I think can also go a long way in making people feel supported rather than isolated uh, in terms of these events. In Chico, Lauren Cooper, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. We've also reached out to Chico police to find out if they're investigating any, uh, if they have any new details in the investigation. And at this time, we don't have anything more we also reached out to Shane Grammer, who had a mural of his in Chico vandalized. And we've asked him if he's filed a police report. He said after he saw what happened here, he did, in fact, do that. The FBI in Newark, New Jersey, just reported credible information of a broad threat to synagogues across that state today as well.